Okay, so here we are again today, We're starting a new tea. This is called Nandy Gold. We can see that, you can call that because you can see the gold tips on it. It is a black tea, it is from Kenya. And uh, we're gonna warm up all of our cups first real quick. We're starting out, uh, the, according to the importer, this tea is made on sustainable farms, which means the farmers actually make a living doing this. Uh, they are supposed to be organic as well. And let's just see how it smells, just first of all. We'll pass that around, everybody. Smell anything yet? It smells kind of like, not cardamom, but along those lines, like a similar, like, plant. It smells kind of fruity. Kind of fruity. Okay. Well, let's, um, steam these guys up a little bit here. See if they gain any other further aromas and whatnot while we're um, doing this. There we go. All right, let that steam a minute. Um, have my hands are heating up the old tea pet, giving him some nice hot water. He'll want some nice. Tea in a little bit himself when we do our rinse. All right. Definitely get a more fruity here smell. Concur. What do you think, Max? Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's do our rinse. Oh, much, much, much. Really getting at that tea. Watch the top, top, top. Much more of a tea smell there, I think. What do you think? Just... Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So our first infusion will be 10 seconds. Where's my... See a nice tea color there coming out. Oh, I should use my uh, filter there again. All right, so first infusion. See in there, here we go. There's red color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you smell that fruitiness? Mm. Any impressions? Not very bitter. Not bitter? Yeah, I don't, it's, it doesn't, it's not very astringent at all, this one. I can't drink it yet. It's too hot. Too hot. Okay. Temperature wise. Yeah, this is um, uh, steeped at uh, 205 degrees. Closer to like 195 for most teas. Well, no, your your other black teas are, are generally 205. Mm -hmm. This would be a black tea. Your oolong, your green, and your whites, they can be at the um, lower temperatures. Well, looks like those are the ones we've been having lately. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
You know, flavors, aromas. Not particularly at this moment. Yeah. Do you want to have a little sip or? Mm. Let's take another sip. We'll give the toad some. Still waiting on on third opinion over here. That is my new one. Yes, opinion number three. Hello, opinion number two. <laughs> Hi, opinion number one. That's right. Slightly stringent. Slightly stringent. Tastes like a black tea. <laughs> Well, it should taste like a black tea. A little sweet. A little sweet. I wonder what it will taste like after the mother in law cup. Mm. Not temperature wise, it's really. It's really got such nice consistency. The tea right. pack. Going for the second infusion. We'll move the teapot up one. I like to count, I found somebody else who counted their tea infusions by moving their teapot around, so it seemed like a good thing to me to do. Don't get lost. Should get about, you finished? About five or more infusions with this tea here. Let's try to do that at this point in time. See the leaves there. All right, so infusion number two. Hot. It has a deeper red color, kind of like I spilled some of it. Oh. There we go. Yeah, not on me. Oh no. Well, second infusion, much, color. much, do, much, much deeper color here. Kind of seems like a deep reddish honey. Mm. Yeah, I'd say the color is probably considered more of an amber. Yeah, amber. Yeah. Yeah, that probably. Good try. Hmm. I'm looking at a nice, a mouthy, you know, coating of the mouth. Little, little astringent, make it a little dry. This, but it's a smooth, smooth feeling for me. Flavors. Blow on your so you can like drink it. Don't wait for it to cool down. I, mean, I feel like I need a water bath for this too. Woody. Woody. Okay. A little woody. A little woody. Any other, anything else? Mm, not, not particularly this much. Not this, not this time around. A little woody, just slightly better. Woody, slightly better? Bitter? Bitter. Bitter. Bit, it, 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 bit, 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 bitter. Bitter. Enunciate. Bitter. Bit. Not B. B. There's an I, not an E. We're having a little banter around our tea time here. I, sure. Mm. No. Um, Max, and here. Flavor things from you. What says number three? Hmm? What did what you say? A little sweet. We'll let him have the rest of that tea there. So it's 
surprisingly, I like the mother-in-law cut by her. For those who don't know, the mother-in-law cut law cup is the first infusion. Because, well, it's not always the best. I didn't make this up. <laughs> it's just what I've been told. I love my mother-in-law. She's the best. seconds. If you're not familiar to what we're doing here, this is called Gung Fu style tea drinking, where you use, like, normally I guess if you were drinking this, in a 100 milliliter cup by itself and not doing multiple infusions, you would maybe only use like a, a gram or a gram and a half. I'm using four grams of tea for this, and uh, so we get multiple good infusions. This is number three. Let's move our teapot. Yay, move the teapot. Yeah, blow on your tea so it's going to take forever for it to cool off for you. Third infusion. Mm. Well, I like this one. What do you like about it? This one's actually a little sweet. It's sweet? Like not sugary sweet, but like the absence of bitterness. Absence of bitterness. Okay. I agree with that. <laughs> you agree with that. I don't like bitter tea. Any aroma? Smells? Mm. Feel in the mouth? More towards the front of the mouth for this one. Feel towards the front of your mouth. Feels like coating your mouth, or is it lightly coating your mouth? Is it heavy or mint? Do you taste? Is it minerality maybe? Or mm. eh. no. I definitely feel it covering, coating my mouth. It's, it's, it's a light coating. Unlike some poor boyers I've uh, had. Like at the front of the mouth for mine, mm -hmm. and it's just a little grainy. A little what? Grainy. A little grainy. Okay. Hmm. Oh, a good cup. I like this one. Oh, Alright, so cups one and cups three so far are everyone's favorite. Let's do another fusion number. This will be number four. And so, when you're doing this, when you're doing Gung Fu method here, and you're, you're steeping it in the Gai Wan, uh, you pour it into this, and I can't remember the exact name for it anyway, but, but it's basically what it is, is that if you start drinking from the top, or you pour from the top the individual things, you know, get, you're, you know some parts of, the, of this cup is going to be more infused than others, you're gonna get different flavors from different parts of the cup as you drink it down, because other parts are, are, are still infusing as you drink it. Uh, so you pour it into this, and so all of, everybody gets all the same flavors at the same time. And that's why you do it this way. And use that thing, whatever we're gonna call it. I guess you know. I'll find out the name for it again later. All right. So, fourth infusion. Don't forget to blow on it to make it cooler quicker for you so you can drink it with the rest of us. Terrible. <laughs> I have a hot cup of tea right here. No so threats. Do I. No threats on, on, on YouTube, guys. <laughs> I gave no threats. Oh. Well, I did. 
so you, it's, the fourth infusion, you see it's, it, it is starting to get a little less color to it there. Mm. Definitely getting some more flavor in the back of my mouth here, in the it's back strange. of my tongue. Hmm? It's strange. It's strange. Okay. Well, it's strange is nice. A more coating of feeling like there, kind of tasting some of the, I don't know, it's, it's not really sweet. I think you say sweet in the front of your mouth, but it's definitely more getting some flavors right there. What do you have? This one definitely has more flavor in the back of the mouth for this one. You think it has more flavor in the back of the mouth? Yeah, I wish I could describe it better. But it's pleasant. Let's like it. It really kind of opened up. Slightly. Slightly the extrovert astringent. cup. Hmm? I said the extrovert cup. Extrovert cup. <laughs> Opens up. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I don't find it. I, I don't find this one as astringent as the other ones. I remember two. I think it was. Yes, number two was. I don't know. I think I dislike number two. The, I dislike number two the most. Okay. Other ones are nicer. Even the mother-in-law cup. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. All right. So going for infusion number five. And we'll see where that goes. that over like that when you're going for the tea. This just strains it. I'm using another strainer as well just to make sure I get it all Don't want little tiny bits in there steeping. Okay. Number five. Let's steep this one just a little bit longer, and I think you can tell by the taste and by the by the, by the color of it that that happened. How's the tea party going? Yeah, it's coming along good. We're on number five. Hmm. How's it out there? A little bit, definitely a lighter feel in the mouth than this this one here. It's still good tea, I think. What are your opinions? Thoughts? Smooth. Yeah, it's definitely a smooth one. I agree with opinion number three. Smooth. Any flavors? This one's not particularly woody, but this one falls closer to the fruity line of taste. Fruity line of taste. Okay. It's a lighter taste. Lighter taste. Any, any kind of, any particular types of fruit you're thinking of, maybe? Mm. Like one of those mixed berry things. Huh? Like one of those mixed berry things. A mixed berry thing, okay. But like, without the sugar. Without the sugar, okay. Anything over here? Maybe like a, a slightly more bitter, like a decently ripe banana? Like a decently ripe banana, okay. Hey, you know, everybody has different taste buds, you know, so we're gonna taste things differently, and that's fine. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna try a six infusion. Let's see if it lasts into that. Like I said, this is you know gung fu style, so you um, 
you know, this is using four grams here, and normally I would use one or one and a half grams for a uh, similar size cup of tea here. Uh, so four times that, well, we probably ought to get a good five or so, uh, or six infusions out of this, I think. And for using a lot more tea. All right. Coming along. See the teas are un unraveling there. So I got really like about the whole leaf tea, as opposed to the ones that are all chopped up. You just don't really get the tea leaf experience, I don't think. What is the tea leaf experience? Well, you have whole leaves there more or less, you know, that, that are in your tea, rather than little chopped up pieces. And so they, you know, you, if the chopped up ones, of course, that's because it's good for tea bags, because you're trying to use as little tea as possible to get as much tea flavor as possible. Uh, but this, you know, you're really kind of drawing out the flavors over time um, as, as you're drinking it, as you're steeping it, a number of steeps. Um, it's less likely to be very astringent, like some teas are, when they're when they're really all chopped up, like you get the tea bag. So, and you get to see the teas unfold before you as they're as they're brewing, and really like that. So, you can see the tea leaves there. Thoughts? Not quite a strong flavor on this one. Yeah, it's quite a strong. So six and three. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Sweet. Mm. So the sixth one got sweeter for you. A little weaker in flavor for you. Not particularly on this one. Mm -hmm. So sweet, I like this cup. Something's going on out there. Some vacationer in trouble. Mm. Yeah, just me. Again, this is the, the these latter cups are really kind of coating. I can feel the back of my mouth. I'm feeling more um, like this one. feel in the back there. Really like this one, huh? Okay, well, then I think we can probably go to a seventh one, and we'll see how that one goes. There's two frog, the tube. serving people other than your family, you probably should use these instead of touching the, the cups themselves. But since we live together, not as big a deal. Don't want any tea at the bottom of your guy while while you're doing this because you don't want that that tea down there to keep steeping. You need to, when to be finished cooking cooking when you do it. And you also want to take the, the top off so it, it doesn't continue uh, steeping either. You want each one to be its own thing. And there we go. There we go. So let me 
see what I want. Mmm. Actually got a little fruity part there at the front, right in the front of my mouth than this one. That was different. You can still feel it there. It's just kind of hanging. Mmm. Oh, I like that. So still getting some flavor out, out of the seventh um, infusion here. Mm. Yeah, and you always seem to taste it first, <laughs> which is fine. The, the flavors I usually get the, the second one. <laughs> or, or, or like whatever, whatever you're tasting in one, I, I taste in the next one. <laughs> Be getting old. Just be getting old. Yes. So, what do you um, what do you got there? What, flavors, feelings, aromas. More of a nutty one for that one. A nutty one. Okay. For me, it's still kind of like a berry. Like an almondy. Almondy. Okay. I taste a little bit of almond too, kind of. Taste some almond. Mmm. Very nice. Mmm. I like this cup too. Yeah, I'm starting to get something that had the very, very the kind of the bottom of my, my throat there. That was, that was a nice sensation there. All right, well, I even tried to go for a number. I'll just taste. We're not gonna mind wasting that. Let's go for a number eight and see if it's still. Has some staying power at eight. Hmm. Two there. And uh, see what we get. Definitely needs to be steeping a little bit longer. I'm going to see it's not having as much. Color now. So we're gonna let this one steep a little bit longer. Get well, you know, we want to, we want to do not, we don't want to be chintzy, but we do want to be frugal. And extract as much as we can out of this. Get all the flavor out. Yes, this isn't two dollar one hundred bags of tea here. <laughs> This is what? This, so this isn't two dollars $2 and one hundred bags of tea here. This is, this, this is more finer tea. You pay a lot more for it. So you want to get as much out of the experience as you can. Actually, it's a much more better, or a, a little more uh, color down towards the bottom. That's why you, that's why you use this because if you're looking at this a second ago, it didn't look terribly, you know, it look it looked fairly clear. But when you pour out, pour the whole guy one into this, you see no, it's, 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 it still has some color to it. Now I'm getting some fruitiness on the top of my um, front, top front of my mouth and then the front of my tongue. I can predict things now. Opinion it certainly has lost a lot of its astringency at this point. Opinion number two, what do you think? Thoughts. <laughs> Aromas, feel of the mouth. Mid mouth. Feeling it in the middle of your mouth. Dry on the tongue. Dry on the tongue. It's really, it's, it's kind of sweet, but not like sugar sweet. It's like a weird description of sweet. Don't you, do you taste it, Ryan? No. It's yeah. Like a weird type of like a, sweet. Like, like a fruit sweet? Or more like a honey sweet. Or a honey sweet? 
if it was one of the two, it would probably be a bit more meaningful to fruit. Fruit sweet. Mm. Oh, I'm imagining it would be around $14 or so for like a 10, 20 grams maybe, somewhere around there. How much do you, do you use this time? I use four grams. This is really misty. All right, so I think this will be the last one. There's just something for me about comforting about seeing actual leaves. <laughs> and of course, if, you use, if you're not using a strainer, but your teapot, if you're brewing this in a teapot, and your teapot has a built-in strainer, like just holes, like at the spout, right? The, um, the, that spout with the small, the, the holes are big enough to let the tea through, but they're small enough to keep large leaves from going through. Or as if you just poured like you know regular tea market tea in there, you would uh, get all kinds of tea in your cup afterwards. All right, this one looks like it has lost some some color now. Huh? Ooh. All right, so last cup, I think. Go ahead and read. Mm. Yeah, I still have that sweet on like the tip of my tongue. That's mainly where the sweetness has been. Yeah. It's like the very like front right. of my tongue. Yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely getting a lot more flavor these last few infusions in the front of my mouth. Um, whereas before everything was kind of hitting the back of my mouth and the lower part of my mouth and now this is like the upper part upper front of my mouth and, and the lower front of my mouth This is weird like the way it's sweet is strange to me mm. What do you think it is Mary? Yeah, I'm, I'm I, I think I might move it towards more of the like honey type sweet myself, but Yeah, you can't use that one and this one. What do you have? It's very light. Mm, tip of tongue. Tip of tongue, definitely. Flavors? I'm going to stick with my theme saying that it tastes somewhat almond. Almondy. Maybe it's almond sweet. Hmm. Almonds are sweet. a little sweet. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. It's not, no, it's not I think it's a little, I think it's a bit more sweet than an almond, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, if you did enjoy it and want to see further ones as we're continuing tasting through these several different teas uh, that we may be putting in our store, um, we will uh, hit that subscribe button, hit like so other people can find it, and they can also enjoy this as well. And uh, blessings on your day.